Hello, welcome to the Mocha Empress Oracle and Tarot channel. Uh, this is the energy of the day reading for Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. I'm going to be using the, where is my box? Oh, sorry. I'm going to be using the Angel Tarot card deck. Um, this is a general reading. It's not for anyone in particular. It's just I'm reading the energy for today, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you like more information, if you'd like to ask any questions, um, if you'd like to donate to the channel, uh, please feel free to look at the information underneath the video that will give you my contact information, uh, website, um, my cash app, uh, my Amazon wish list, all that information is located below the video today. Okay. Um, so I did a small prayer. I've already pre-shuffled the cards, already put the cards out. I'm going to be using the three card spread um, to read the energy. Um, the first card represents the energy of the day. The second card represents what you should be focusing on. And the third card represents what you should be avoiding. Okay? So the first card I chose, um, first card that came out, not that I chose, the first card that came out was the Magician. This is energy that calls for action. It is the power to manifest. Um, it is someone that has all their tools. They have done all the work. They have all the information that they need. They have all the tools that they have to have that power, to manifest that power, to manifest whatever it is that they need, whatever that they want. Um, so that's what magician energy is. It is taking action, being able to have to take that action, to have the power to manifest and create whatever it is that they want. That is the energy for the day. The second card represents what you should be working on, what you should be focusing on. And that energy is page of fire which is also considered the page of wands it's someone that is newly inspired um, they have um, something that has inspired them to do something or go forward with some kind of action some kind of plan um, they're excited about their life they're excited about work things are going well for a person with page of wands page of fire energy um, It's someone that can also, they use this energy, they, it is suggested that they use their originality, their ingenuity, to help them meet their goals. Um, this also says that someone that has page of fire energy is, they usually are someone that is outgoing, that is creative, that is confident. People with fire energy, a lot of fire zodiac people, and that includes um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very fiery people. They have a fire in them, and that fire helps keep them going. It helps keep them confident and pushing forward and, you know, creative and, um, can't find the word that I'm looking for. Go-getters. They're not afraid to go after what they want. They can be mischievous, though, too. <laughs> but for the most part, fire energy. It's confidence. It's warmth. It's go-getting ambition. So the second placement is something you should be focusing on. You should be focusing on um, something that has some kind of information that has been given to you, some kind of knowledge as far as um, taking you on a new endeavor, taking you forward on something that you've been really wanting to do or something that sounds very interesting. 
that you've thought about doing or participating in. This is going to give you the ability to to use your ingenuity, to use your your intellect, um, your ability to create. Okay, the third placement is something that you should be avoiding, what you should be avoiding today, and that is ego. Ego is the same as the devil in tarot, most tarot decks. Um, devil energy is destructive patterns. It's... Um, when you give away your power to something or someone, um, it's also like a false sense of entrapment. You feel like you're stuck in a situation, but you really aren't. Your mind has tricked you into believing that you are stuck. Probably, or you know that you're not stuck. It's just you choose to stay because you're afraid of something new. You're afraid of venturing out into the world and away from something that you're used to something that is a pattern even if it's destructive so your mind tricks you and say oh well you can't do any better than that you don't know anything other than this why would you want to go out there and do something new why would you want something different something new something different could be better so that devil energy keeps you feeling like you're trapped like you can't do anything better you can't you can't change it but you have to stay there and you don't that's devil energy the false sense of being entrapped devil energy is also someone that focuses on materialistic things they're more focused on how they look the outside of people outside appearances, um, the type of clothes that they wear, the how, the size of the house, the model, and the price of a car. They're more focused on materialistic things instead of what really matters, what's more important, what people are on the inside instead of what they look like on the outside. Another word for that is superficial. Someone being superficial. Materialistic. Superficial. Judging things by price tag. That's devil energy. Um, someone who is like negative or fear-based they, that's all they think about. They think about negative all the time. Or they're afraid of everything. Those type of thoughts keep you in devil energy. It keeps you from moving forward. It keeps you from progressing. Fear is an awful thing. It can keep people stagnant and standing still, sitting in the same place for years and years and years. They're afraid of moving forward. They're afraid of new. They're afraid of change, newness, differences. That's how you get racism. That's how you get sexism. Um, all those other negative isms <laughs> but those are two main ones that I can think of right now people that are racist they're afraid of anything different from themselves they're afraid of races that are different from theirs and plus anyway this is a whole different subject but race is not really a thing that is a construct that is a human construct It's not 
anything that determines one person that's better than another. It's that's not it's not a thing. It's not real. Evil men or I would say people working out of that devil energy, they're the ones that created race, the different races, the names, the labels for the different races. They're the ones that created that mess. And now we're having to live with it. We're having to live with that mess, deal with it. And explain to me, it's like, you know, your race is no better than mine. Race really isn't a thing. You try to tell people that and they're just so stuck in that lie that has been carried on for hundreds and hundreds of years they don't want to believe it. They're stuck in the devil energy now. But I'm, I digress. Let me go back. But that's what fear does to people. It keeps you from being the best that you can be. The best version of you. And I can honestly say up until maybe... Two or three years ago, I thought I was a person that was not afraid, that I was brave and I can say whatever I want, do whatever I want. There were still things that I was afraid of. But the more and more I walk my path, every day that I walk my path, less and less fear. And I feel free. I can say whatever I want. Now, I do not care what other people think about me. I do not care what they say about me. I do not care that they do not approve of how I live my life because it's my life. And a lot of us live in that fear. We think that we're supposed to make other people happy. No. You're not supposed to make other people happy. You wish them the best and you try to please them instead of pleasing yourself. You're going to be forever sitting still. You can't please everybody. You can't make everybody happy. The only person that you can make happy that you should really be focusing on is yourself. Plain and simple. No one's responsible for making other people happy. No. The only person responsible for making you happy is you. Now you can try to make others happy and give them things and say things to them and please them. But in the end... not really your job to make sure that you stay and keep them happy no it's not your job your job is you and only you now I know some of you parents out there are probably saying well what, what about my kids are, are I supposed to make them happy are I supposed to well it's kind of like a slippery slope I mean, you're supposed to be the best parent you can be. Keep them safe, out of harm's way. Make sure that they're fed. Make sure that they're well, that they're not sick, that they don't hurt themselves. Make sure that they, you know, get an education, um, that they're able to participate in their hobbies and sports and things of that nature. You can attempt to make them happy. You can do your best, but that's all you can do. In the end, they grow up and they become aware. They become aware of the world. They're no longer a child. 
they become mature, their brains start gathering all this information about the world around them. And you start to lose that baby. You start to lose a little bit of that child, little by little, to where they're not needing you anymore. They don't feel like they need you anymore. We all, all parents go through that. But the best that we can do is just be there for them. Because they're going to have questions. They're still going to come to you as young adults, as adults. And they're still going to want you to be around. They're still going to want to be around you. They still love you, still care about you. But they don't need you anymore. They want you in their life. They want their mom and dad around. They want you to be grandparents or great-grandparents. But ultimately, we have to realize that we can't make other people happy on a regular basis. It's just like a temporary thing. We can give them things. We can express how we feel about them. And it's... On them how they respond I hope I'm making sense I did not mean to stray from the message but basically it is part of the message because today's energy is saying that you need to you have all the tools that you need to make yourself happy you have have all the tools that you need to make yourself successful you just need to get out there and do it Stop waiting around for other people to give you the go-ahead. Stop waiting around for other people to make you happy. Make yourself happy. Okay? Stop relying on other people to take care of you, to baby you, to make sure that you're feeling good, to make sure that you're feeling good about yourself. You don't need those other people. You need to focus on your own confidence, to, to, to focus on you to love yourself, to believe in yourself. That's where you'll find your confidence. That's when your confidence will start to grow. And you realize, okay, I don't need them other mofos. I don't need them to be happy. I don't need them to succeed. All I need is myself. I mean, of course, you're going to have to probably like um, have coworkers and people that you um, collaborate with as far as like, you know, different projects or whatever. But as far as like needing someone to do something for you, you don't. You don't need anyone. All you have is you. Your dreams. Those are your dreams that you're trying to fulfill. Your goals that you're trying to meet. Those other people, it's not theirs. It's yours. This is saying that you have all the tools to do that. So get started. Stop waiting around for other people. Okay? Alrighty, so that's the energy for today. Hope I didn't talk too long. <laughs> just kind of, it was like the words were just in there and they just started flowing. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you this time tomorrow, okay? Peace, love, and light. Bye, guys.